Hi, hello, namaste. Welcome to new YouTube video. Here to all new subscribers, I'm Prashi Kaviri, a final year medical student from Bangalore, India. Now, while studying medicine, all of you would feel like it's such a vast subject. And you're absolutely right, it is such a vast subject. But what happens is that all the more we study medicine, we realize that we don't know anything. And all the more low we feel, right? Because it is such a huge topic. So in this video, I'll be talking about the ways that we can implement study medicine so that it becomes much more interesting and we'll be able to learn and remember things better in a fun manner. I've been following these from quite some time and I think this will help all of you. So I have divided the video into five parts and the first one is integrated learning. Now by integrated learning, I mean that you need to pick up all the subjects and study medicine holistically. Now you might feel like Okay, medicine is such a vast topic and now if we start integrating everything, where is the time? I know it seems a little difficult, but it isn't as difficult as it sounds. For example, if you have to study something about CNS, just go back and read anatomy of the spine cord and the tracts and the neuro. After that, you go to physiology and get to know the normal functioning of this. After that, you read your path or you read your medicine. After that, you club it up with pharmacology and at the last, if you have to give a surgical dimension to it, you search it. In this way, you will remember things on the long run. And since all the new MCQ exams are in this manner, uh, you know, if you club things in study, you will remember it better and you will be able to implement it clinically. Secondly, prepare beforehand. Now, by prepare beforehand, I mean that once you know what game is going to be there the next day, See the case, come back and watch it. There are a lot of good sources that gives you relevant information in the form of videos so that you can learn and benefit from it. One of such apps is PrepLadder. For my patient who is not on any antiretroviral therapy, our first aim is to start the patient on antiretroviral therapy because he is a known case of HIV and he is not taking any medication. Now, it is seen that even on giving antiretroviral therapy, we can treat Kaposi sarcoma. They have you know, launched new series of case discussion videos in their apps and there are about 236 videos covering wide range of topics that benefit every year medical student. Now, once you watch such videos, you will know exactly how viva questions are going to be asked and you can learn in that regard. You're going to know the important questions, you will know how to make provisional diagnosis, you will know how to approach every patient differently. I mean the treatment modality for each kind of the disease will be made very much easier if you watch one of these videos. Now Preplador has even kept it as a separate part where the cost is rupees 8000, you can buy it separately and use it. This kind of app and this kind of uh, simulation where uh, questions are asked and the uh, student has to answer will even help you gain a lot of confidence and it will be easier for you to go and face the exam. Now you can download the app free in the link provided in the description box. Then you can uh, watch the videos and then you can really buy and use it if you really like it. Thirdly, examine the patient by yourself. As the popular saying goes by, all studies and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Similarly, if you only study and don't examine the patient, you are not going to learn anything right. So always make it a point to go and examine the patient by yourself. You can examine the patient by reading some standard textbooks for examination or as I told you earlier, you can watch videos pertaining to the same and then go and examine the patient. Once you examine the patient, you are feeling you are getting to know the things that you already know theoretically better. That's why you are going to remember things on the long run and you are not going to forget it anyway throughout your life. Fourthly, emphasize on patient-oriented learning. If you just study medicine theoretically and do not go and see the actual patients, you are not going to actually learn anything uh, on the long run. So always make it a point to go see patients and examine them. Every patient is like a teacher and you're going to learn something from each and every patient that you see. Direct contact with the patient will not only help you in developing good communication skills, clinical reasoning and empathy but also will motivate you to go and study the topic and learn more. Plus, it will also help you to remember things on the longer run. 
Also, take help from your fellow friends, from your interns, PCs, and all your teachers. Everybody is going to teach you something that you don't know, and the club effect will be you becoming very good clinicians. Last but not least, keep your eyes wide open to all the tests, applications, X-rays, scans, and whatever else. See what happens to that when you see all these things. You're going to substantiate your theoretical knowledge with enough facts and figures. It is really difficult for one to really know the normal values of all the tests or all the electrolytes and all the biochemical substances in the body. But when you see these the tests and the normal values which are written next to it, you're going to passively register all the values in your brain. So the more you see, the more you remember. Also, you must specifically know what investigations are done in each type of patient. things better on the long run that's all i had to talk about in this video i hope this video was helpful to you in some way or the another uh, i'll be coming up with a lot of many more uh, interesting videos like this videos and blogs and things related to medical life stay tuned to the channel hit that like button subscribe button and you know, bell icon also and share my videos with your friends for like content like this uh, that's all for now until next time bye bye uh -oh.